Hello friends, today I'm talking about form validation in AngularJS. So we have a working application like this in which we have this guitar list. When I click on a guitar, let's say acoustic guitar, it goes to this tab section that we have developed in tutorial number 13. And if I go to review section, I see nothing. So I'm going to add some reviews in here. So our final product looks like this. At the end of this tutorial, we will have the reviews add review button when we click on add review it has some email validation and some comments and there's a close button out there so let's see how we can implement this thing in our application i go to the details page because we are working in the details page right here so in our details page we have these three tabs so i go to review tab here is our review tab if you are following along previous tutorial you probably know that where it is coming from so if you don't know about where it is coming from i recommend that you go to previous tutorial and watch that so here is our review tab in the review tab i will add class for styling and i add a controller in the controller i used a review controller and added its alias as review ctrl i will create this controller in a moment next there is a div in that div i have used ng repeat if you go to data.json file you will see that in our acoustic guitar or electric guitar or other guitar items i have added this thing these reviews are nested inside the guitar item so reviews for acoustic guitar looks like this and reviews for electric guitar looks like this and so on so I used ng repeat because we know that we are in a guitar list and we want to catch that array inside that particular guitar. So I used a review in guitar variable which guitar which is pointing to our current guitar we are currently on. Here I used the current guitar and the reviews of that guitar and called it review. I want to show that how many points user have given to this guitar and what was the comment and what was the name of that user and uh, i haven't implemented this thing right now so leave it next i added a review button this is uh, an anchor tag in anchor tag i added a ng click so it says that when it is clicked on the anchor tag set the value add is equal to one when the value is add is equal to one i want to show uh, another div in this div, I have written a directive of ng show which says if add exactly equals 1 then show this div. Inside this div, we will be showing uh, what user is writing in the form below. So, and inside this form, I have uh, this uh, select option. In the select option, I have used ng option, ng option for uh, if we have multiple options and we don't want to write options in the select panel, we simply use ng options in AngularJS. This way we can set values to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 instead of writing options for the 5 time. Next, I use the input field and a text area and a submit button. So if I go to my forms field, here I can see that uh, here is my name of the form. Here is my ng submit. It says that when the form is submitted, take the name and validate it and go to this review controller review controller is our uh, is our controller right here if you can see here here is our this is the, our controller go to review controller and the particular function add review and in that function pass the index of current guitar so currently the index of our guitar is here as we can see index of our current guitar is 2 so it will pass 2 value to the add review function in the review controller and here I use no validate no validate means that uh, don't validate things because we want it to validate through angular.js using this dollar sign valid and and the show we want to show this uh, form only when so when this anchor tag is clicked we want to show this thing and this form right here if I go back to my application, when I click this one, we have a form and this review. When I write, it is here and when I type email address, it needs to be a valid email to appear in the review. So here is our email address. Next thing, in this email address, we, I will use ng model. If you don't know about ng model, I recommend that you go back to tutorial 3 
then i have used the review controller this is the name of our controller this is all we have to do in our details.html page now i'm going back to my controllers.js file to make this controller review controller so i go back to controllers.js file and in controllers.js file i just i just made a copy of this thing right here and change the name to review controller and i have used a new object here for a new review i have used this dot review an empty object that means that i want the review form to be empty when the form is loaded then i have used a function the function name is add review in the add review function we are getting the guitar id our guitar id is coming from this review controller dot add review guitar id dot index of guitar variable with guitar function so it passes the guitar variable with guitar to this function so it passes the guitar id here you can ignore this line right here for now when it passes the value to guitar id in the reviews then it pushes that review and then sets the form to be empty and go back to my this application here our review in the review we can add a new review and 3 asdf asdf some email address you see our email address is not correct so it is highlighting it like red so we can type in a valid email address like this so you can see that now it is green the outline is green how i am doing this is that it uses ng pristine ng dirty ng valid and invalid function so when i click when i used this dot dollar sign valid in our angular js application it says that when the particular field let's say this email address is never touched it is assign the class of ng pristine to it when something is entered or changed in that input field we call it ng dirty so if i go back to my styles.css file i see that ng invalid and ng dirty for if something entered invalid or if something is entered i want its border color to be red same is the thing when the thing is valid and something is added to it means it is dirty but i want its border color to be green so this is how it is working you can you can download the project files from this blog the project files right here you can download it and practice thanks for watching and share it